I don't make music to blow up. I'm not trying to be 50 or Jay-Z. I'm making music because people appreciate it. Yeah. I love doing it. I fell in love with doing it. It's a part of my expression. There's no end goal financially for music. And, and that's how people should see it. If you're going to do it, at least it's your passion and you love doing it. man thank you for the people that showed up last week to the manifesto fest episode uh, and we ended the episode with a dope beat man and uh the owner of that music is standing here with me this is septo we're here at Vic Park in Danforth area. What kind of influence is this place giving to you and your music? Yo, this is solitary for me. Like, I'm originally raised in Malvern, right? Teen years and stuff. So here is kind of like the comfort of Scarborough, but away from everybody. You know what I mean? Like, I'm on the line. Like, we're almost outside of Scarborough. So here, this is where I came when when life got real, you know? Me and my producer got a place over here. And then, uh, yeah, it's, it's just been more confinement than anything. So I chose this area specifically for my kid. Nice. You know what I mean? So we got like the fields, basketball, and playing and shit. But for the most part, uh, it just represents, I don't know, my last two years. You know, it's yeah, just huh? where I've been. Yeah. Huh? So in that last two years, you've composed a lot of different music almost never was made here the entire album huh? yeah for the most part it, w it was made here um it was a time in my life when i feel like i destroyed a lot i had to destroy i felt lost so a lot got destroyed a lot got rebuilt and it got rebuilt here so you know the way it started was you know nothing air mattress on the ground and you know paper plates and omelets for dinner you know oh, like oh. it started from scratch and we just kind of rebuilt rebuilt life again you know and with that was also almost never so we were making music and uh, that's what came out of it yeah hence <laughs> almost never it almost wasn't yeah there's a lot of work and a lot of uh patience and determination that went into that right yeah for sure Told me don't fix what isn't broken. It's natural for me to overanalyze emotion. Complicate the simple like is this a sign of symbol or am I missing the point if I've been blessing just enjoy? You supposed to be my soulmate in this. What I learned in time, I learned from back in Nigeria and Africa. Everything African is is symbolic. So the way that you cook food is gonna be the way that you cook your music. Cooking is art. Like if you enjoy it, then it's gonna come out in the same way that you, you cook something in the studio. It's like, you're just used to it. It's a part of you, it's like another limb. You know, we don't have a TV in here. Like, we, this is some of our entertainment. This is what we do, you know? So it's, uh, you know, you ask me what I'm making, I don't know yet. I'm kind of going with the flow, going with a certain vibe. Yeah, you know what I mean? I love that, I love yeah. that. I love that. It, it is its own art, for sure. Even though you're about a freestyle kind of thing, you're, you're pretty well thought out. And your lyrics kind of show that, you know, you th you're a thinker, you know. There's a lot of elements of premeditated thought and societal consciousness that goes into what you talk about. You know, where does your content come from? Because you're highly lyrical. The, the content is... I, I do my absolute best to try to be as... as, as 
you know the stereotype to keep it real? You know what I mean? I do my absolute best to try to put nothing between reality and music. You know, so when it comes to, uh, you know, stage performance or, or me putting together certain concepts or whatever, the reason why it looks so prepared is probably just because we've been doing it so long, it's so natural. People need to understand, like, there isn't a, there isn't a personality switch. I don't, I don't believe in changing for, the, for okay, I'm t it's time to put on my rapper voice. It's time to put on my rapper look. You know what I mean? Right. It's, there, there's absolutely no difference between the MC as a personality and who you might bump into on the street. You know what I mean? All right, all right. So, so, so yeah, it, it seems prepared, but it, it's it's not that it's so prepared. It's it's that it's seamless. You take your family very seriously, yeah. and, and you don't play with that. You know, you don't mind sharing with the people. You know, the kind of family background you come from. Well, I guess it, it kind of goes in line with the original thing that we were saying, right? There's no difference between real life and music. Right. It's a reflection of real life. Right. You know. I'm just not hiding the fact that I'm a father and a husband. Like, I'm, this, is, this is my life. My music is still top tier. Like, I'll still compete lyrically or musically or whatever you want to call it with any other artist, regardless of what their background is. You know what I mean? But I don't need to hide who I am as a human being to do that. It's just going to reflect who I am. I got this letter, like, a couple days ago. It said my project isn't recommended for funding your beats are distracting you're not original enough you sound like you sound like you sound like and your endeavor is not professional enough sure. i tell people this all the time like sometimes they'll, they'll bring me in to talk to students like in a school or whatever in a class and they they try to talk to me from like a rapper perspective you know and i just wipe it all away like like, don't, don't be a rapper. Like, you know what I mean? There's a million different things for you to do. You can, like, we're, we're being sold out. We're being brainwashed to think that, like, you can be a comedian. You can be a rapper. You can be a basketball player. Like, like there's a million other things for you to do. You're an intelligent human being. You know what I mean? Don't sell yourself short. But out of 10,000 of us, one of us is actually going to be successful. For me, like, I'll tell them all straight, like, don't do it. Like, it's stupid. It's, it's a trick. We're, you're set up to fail. You know, if, and, and when I walk out of there and everyone's been convinced, the people that are being convinced not to do it are the people that shouldn't have been doing it in the first place. You know? And then there's going to be one or two people that might be like, yo, fuck this guy. Strong headed guys. That love what they do. And they're going to do it regardless of success, regardless of a letter, or regardless of someone telling you it's stupid. I remember. Fonte on Cardinal's mixtape, the Do The Right Thing mixtape, he said, you know, the difference between a rapper and an MC is the MCs will be the only ones still rapping. You know, because the truth is we're not doing it for, you know, an industry. We're not doing it for uh, a, rec a certain type of recognition. We're not doing it for financial gain. We're doing it because, like, if I walk outside right now and there's a cypher popping off and I feel like getting in a cypher, I'm going to get in a cypher. That has nothing to do with what this cypher is going to do for me or what I'm going to gain from it. You know what I mean? I'm always going to be doing it. Whether or not you hear it, whether or not I put it out, I'm all, it's always going to be inside of me. So a letter's not supposed to deter you. And me coming to a classroom and saying, yo, this is stupid, because it is stupid, just as much as it's not statistically smart to try and be an athlete because you're a young black male. You know what I mean? It's not statistically smart to try and be an MC if you're a young black male either. I don't make music to blow up. I'm not trying to be 50 or Jay-Z. I'm making music because people appreciate it. Almost Never is like, I think one of the best projects to come out of Toronto. Shout out to the homie Septo, hella down, crazy show. Shout out Septo who murdered it tonight. It's your boy XP. I want to shout out to Northern Hustle, shout out Septo, shout out All The Never. You know, we doing our thing, we gonna come and get it. What's up world, it's your go-to guy, Christopher L. Fizzo. Check out my man, Septo. I fell in love with doing it. It's a part of my expression. But if you're gonna do it, if you are gonna go up against those odds, at least it's your passion and you love doing it. keep the darkness on the tongue. I swear to God, I'm about to lose it. Fuck the music. I got larger problems that I'm trying to solve.